What's up, Savvy Expats? In today's video, we're discussing everything you need to know about healthcare in the Philippines. All right, without wasting time, let's get into it. So we first have to start off with how the healthcare system works here. You have the public sector and the private sector for hospitals. The public sector, which is most often found in the provinces, are universal for all Filipino citizens under PhilHealth. And as a matter of fact, the Philippines was one of the first Asian countries to pass the Universal Healthcare Act in 2019. So all Filipino citizens are entitled to free healthcare. In addition to that, most expats working in the Philippines must enroll with PhilHealth. But despite having achieved universal healthcare, the public healthcare system still faces its limitations. First off, as you would expect from a government-ran operation. The hospitals are sometimes understaffed, there's a lack of state-of-the-art equipment, and the facilities are old and out of date. And a few examples of public hospitals is the Philippine General Hospital in Manila, the Hospital ng Manila Medical Center, the Vincente Soto Memorial Medical Center in Cebu, and finally, the Hospital ng Tondo if you really feel like living on the edge. But fortunately and unfortunately, the quality of state subsidized healthcare in the major cities of the Philippines is good, while in the rural areas, it's a no-go. So while doctors in the public hospitals are generally well-trained, the equipment and facilities may not be up to your standard. And we all know, if you're moving to the Philippines to live the good life, the last thing you want on your mind is worrying and fretting about the hospitals here. So that leads me to my next point, the private healthcare sector. Most of you are likely to opt for going to a private hospital. What this means for you is accessibility to specialized treatments, state-of-the-art facilities, international standard and top-notch doctors, and an overall well-equipped hospital. Now, while private hospitals are considered to be expensive by locals, they're generally cheap by most expat standards. But you're not gonna find a private hospital in your run-of-the-mill town in some random province. Private hospitals are most often found in the major cities of the Philippines. And so it's no wonder why you'll find the common expat destinations to be in Manila, Cebu City, and Davao. So my tip to you, take the route of the private hospitals for the most optimal care and live at least in or near a major city. Some examples of the best hospitals in the Philippines is St. Luke's Medical Center in BGC, Makati Medical Center in Makati, Chang Hua in Cebu, apologize if I pronounce that wrong, and Cebu Doctors University Hospital, also in Cebu. These are just a few to name, but there's plenty more. Lastly, it's worthy to note that only 30% of the Philippine population uses the private system as their primary means of healthcare. Then, approximately 60% of the hospitals in the Philippines are private as well. Now, let's tackle medical treatment costs. Because there's hundreds of different types of treatments you can get, we'll just give a few examples to name. So let's say you wanna treat a coronary. That, for instance, would cost you $18,000 or 900,000 pesos. Meanwhile, the cost of maintenance medicine for hypertension for each month would cost you around $32 or 1,600 pesos per month. Treating a patient that suffered from a serious stroke would cost you $36,000 or 1.8 million pesos. With heart diseases, hypertension, and strokes being the leading causes of death in the Philippines, these are probably some of the most common treatments that Philippines face. According to insularlife.com, the average stay at a hospital in the Philippines will cost around $30 per night at a private hospital. Meanwhile, an ICU stay can cost up to $600 per night. Keep in mind that this doesn't include doctor fees, laboratory fees, medicine, and other incidental costs. If you add all of that up, you can easily eat into all of your travel savings with one unscheduled trip to the hospital. And that's why we must talk about health insurance to get you covered. The cost of health insurance in the Philippines varies greatly depending on the coverage that you're getting. The cost of your plan also depends on the type of insurance you're getting. So there's two main types of insurance in the Philippines, international insurance and local insurance. Most of you are going to opt for the international insurance as it has more benefits and is more flexible in case you need to travel to another country for medical treatment. Unfortunately, the Philippines caters to a lot of international insurance companies that caters to the needs of expats. But before we name the private health insurers, if you're looking for an inexpensive option, PhilHealth is what's most often used. Public health care in the Philippines is administered by PhilHealth. For Philippine citizens, the cost for health insurance depends on their monthly salary. As you can see in this graph for 2022, all salaries contribute 4% monthly to PhilHealth. A 10,000 peso salary contributes 400 pesos 
or $8 per month. And a 80,000 peso salary contributes 3,200 pesos per month or $62 per month. Now, as for foreign retirees, they must pay 15,000 pesos per month or $300 per month for PhilHealth. Expats pay a little bit more at 17,000 pesos per month or $340 per month for PhilHealth insurance. Lastly, dual citizens pay 3,600 pesos per month or $72 per month. With PhilHealth, you get multiple benefits, one of them being inpatient benefits. If you're admitted to a hospital to receive care, part of your total bill will be shouldered by PhilHealth as long as the hospital is a PhilHealth partner. Same goes with outpatient benefits. PhilHealth can cover part or the entire cost of your day surgery, hemodialysis, radiotherapy, and other primary care. Doctor consultations are also covered by PhilHealth. But keep in mind guys that because PhilHealth is at the more affordable end and it mostly caters to the public healthcare sector, this insurance is limited. The next health insurance that we have on our list is the Cigna Global Insurance Plan. Cigna Insurance was one of the first international insurance plans to be made available to Philippine expats. Whether you're in the US or Europe or the Philippines, benefits with Cigna are made available to you no matter where you go. And so depending on your plan, you can get insurance coverage up to $5 million or more. We won't give a specific price for this one because your plan will be tailored to your needs. So if you go to Cigna's website, you'll find that you have to fill out your information, state your needs, and they'll give you a quote specific to you. Moving on to the next insurer, we have GeoBlue. This healthcare plan is designed for foreigners in the US or US citizens living abroad. They offer premium benefits, coverage, and services. Once again, in order to find the price for their insurance plans, you have to go to their website and get a quote. Now we have AXA Global Healthcare. AXA offers levels of healthcare plans ranging from 500,000 pesos on the low end coverage to 5 million pesos on the high end coverage. No matter which level coverage you choose, you will have access to private healthcare no matter where you go as long as it's in AXA's network of hospitals. Now the last and final insurer we have on our list is Alliance Care. This award-winning health insurance is considered to be among the best health insurance in the Philippines. And they have multiple plans that you can choose from. For instance, their first plan is the Blue Plan which costs 8,000 pesos or $160 per year. This covers $10,000 with its increased illness benefit. And that's on top of a few other insured benefits. Then you have the Silver Plan which costs 10,300 pesos or $206 annually. Now the gold plan costs 12,800 pesos or $256 annually. And lastly, the platinum plan costs 15,100 pesos or $302 annually. This platinum plan covers up to $40,000 with its increased illness benefit in addition to its other benefits. And so keep in mind that all of these plans that we just stated are part of their affordable solution, which is called Alliance Easy Health. They also have the Alliance Well solution with a $20 million coverage limit, a yearly medical cover, and the option to choose your preferred doctor and hospital. And depending on your age, the prices vary for an annual plan, so you can visit their website for more details. If you need any help finding their plans, just comment down below and I could send you their links. And so there you have it, Savvy Expats. That is the basis of what you need to know about healthcare in the Philippines. And so we already pretty much covered insurance plans, but if you want me to make a list of the best hospitals in the Philippines, be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.